Okay guys, welcome to the shop here at Green Fire Gardens. And today we are going to be preparing potatoes for planting, which is one of our earlier spring crops that we put in. Okay, so when we plant potatoes, we don't plant a seed. So these are called seed potatoes. So I order these from my farm supply. And these potatoes have not been sprayed with anything to keep them from sprouting. Um, they don't have any antimicrobial things on them. These are basically as we would have harvested them last year. But the seed companies, seed potato companies, they're very careful about how they store them with temperature. Right? And they also have to be certified as disease free. And so the, when you buy potato seed, you should buy certified potato seed if at all possible. The eye of the potato is where the sprout will come out. And so this white stem that's going up, all right, will, the first thing that comes out is the root and the root will go down and then a green stem will come up from that same location. And each eye or little spot on the potato is capable of producing a stem. So if we have a very big potato with maybe 20 eyes on it, that's 20 stems. That's way too many potato shoots for one location. The potatoes will be very crowded together and they won't be able to get big. If we have a potato with fewer eyes on it, like a very small potato, here's a little one that has one, two, three, maybe four eyes on it. This would be about perfect to plant. So I'm going to cut my large potatoes so I have fewer eyes that go in one location and give us more space. And then I'm taking these and I'm putting them skin side up, meaning not skin side up, the wet side up in my tray. And I'm going to let those dry for about a week. All right, I need to have this area skinned over so that when I put them in the ground, they don't rot. So I, you don't have to do this, but you will get a lot better results of your potatoes if you cut them and you do it ahead of time. Now, if I have a little potato that doesn't need to be cut, I'm not even going to put him in the bin. I'll just leave him out. Here, I'm looking at another one. I got a couple eyes on this end. I got a couple of well-chitted eyes on this end. I'm going to cut this one the long way. And I'm just going to stick them in my tray here like this. Each of these potato pieces that I put down there, each eye is capable of producing four or five uh, potatoes from it. So if I plant one potato with five or six eyes on it, I can probably expect to get, I don't know, six or seven pounds of potatoes if in really good growing conditions, but I should get two pounds just for sticking that little piece of potato in there. And this year here at Green Fire, we're gonna grow five different varieties of potatoes. We have some of these already laid out. And we're gonna be growing uh, red Lasotas and Yukon Gold German Butterball, Katahdin, um, Adirondack Blue, and uh, Yukon Gold. So when am I going to plant my potatoes? All right. Ideally, I'm going to look at soil temperature. I'm going to put a thermometer in the ground and I'm going to check the soil temperature. And I'm looking at the soil temperature at the depth that I'm going to plant the potatoes. Potatoes get planted deep, four to eight inches deep. All right, so I'm going to stick my thermometer down into the ground a little bit, and that's where I'm going to check the temperature. Um, so I'm looking for 50 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? I'd say two to four inches below ground, something like that. Now, there's other ways that you can tell. The old traditional ways of doing it, one of those farmers that I grew up with, they would say that you grow, you plant your potatoes, when the dandelions are in bloom out in the field behind the house. So when dandelions flower, it's probably about the right time to start planting your potatoes. The other one that I heard a lot is you always plant them on Good Friday. And if you plant them on Good Friday, all right, the devil will stay away from your potatoes, all right? And I still hear that one today, that Good Friday is the time to plant. But watch out for that because Easter tied to Good Friday moves around a lot. And I have seen snow on the ground for Easter before. I've also seen Easter when the soil temperature was already 65 degrees, depending on the year. Okay, guys, so today we've talked about what an eye is on a potato. We've talked a little bit about what the soil temperature needs to be when we're going to plant them. We've talked about why we cut them. All right. 
Um, we talked about why they need to dry out before we plant them, especially for the larger ones. All right, so what are you going to do with all this information? Hopefully, you're going to get a few potatoes and you're going to plant them. All right, you can plant them in the garden. You can plant them in a bucket with soil. You can put them in a cage structure, which we're going to be demonstrating in a future video. Uh, but potatoes are used by everybody. They're in so many different kinds of foods and they're really easy to grow. They get a really big, attractive plant. All right, you're working with gigantic seed. It's a piece of a potato. And when you get to dig them up in the fall, it's always a surprise. It's like you found gold every time you pull a potato out of the ground. All right, so go ahead, get some seed potatoes. If you're in our class and you can't find any, we can figure out a way to get you some seed potatoes. We have some extras, just let us know. We can do a safe handoff on them. And um, just go for it. Get out there and grow some potatoes. They're a super beginner garden crop. Okay, so for now guys, from Green Fire Gardens, I'm Mr. Tom. We'll talk to you again soon.